Hello, my name is Raven. And my name is Jocelyn. We're currently students at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and today we're here to inform you on trees and how they affect their surrounding environment. No matter where you are, in most situations, you can turn and find a tree. First off, trees are known as the lungs of the world. They are very important to our everyday lives because they make the oxygen that we need to breathe. They do this by taking in carbon dioxide and converting that into oxygen. Trees also provide food for us and other animals. For example, they produce seeds and fruits that are edible to a wide array of animals. Furthermore, they provide shelter for other animals like birds. There are tens of thousands of different types of trees. There are pine trees, maple trees, oak trees, palm, and willow. There are too many to cover in just one video, so for now, we will focus on the mesquite trees native to the Mojave Desert, which is located here in Nevada. The mesquite tree population plays an important role on the wildlife found here in the Mojave Desert, but lately they've been on the decline. Currently, there are many theories on why they've been dying out, but no one can really pinpoint the reason why right now. You can find mesquite trees in a plethora of different places like arroyos, dried up lakes, oases, and riverbanks. These trees tend to grow where the texture of the soil is medium to fine. With that being said, where do you think mesquite trees can be found here in Nevada? Mesquite trees can be found here in Las Vegas. You can find them at Sunset Park, Red Rock Canyon, and Wetlands Park. They can even be found at UNLV. Mesquite trees are here in the desert, specifically the Mojave Desert, because they're a drought-tolerant tree. And now we're on to the Prosopis glandulosa, otherwise known as the honey mesquite tree. The honey mesquite can either be a shrub or grow to be 30 feet tall. Their branches contain thorns, and when the flowers blossom in the spring, they turn yellow. What are the characteristics of the honey mesquite tree, and is the tree pictured in A, B, C, or D? Take a minute and discuss how you can identify a honey mesquite tree. If you said the honey mesquite is option B, then you were correct. One key factor in identifying mesquite trees are their pods. They are long and can either be brown or green. If you are around a honey mesquite, you can look to the floor or up in the tree to find the pods. Personally, I think the honey mesquite pods look like edamame. Next is the Prosopis pubescens, aka the screw bean mesquite tree. Like the honey mesquite, the screw bean can also grow up to 30 feet. Their flowers bloom to be yellow as well. Now, what do you think the characteristics are for the screw bean mesquite trees? And is the screw bean tree pictured in A, B, C, or D? Take a couple of minutes to discuss with those around you what you think it is. The screw bean mesquite tree was pictured in option D. If you chose correctly, great job. Like the honey mesquite tree, the distinguishing characteristics of the screw bean are their pods. The pods are very unique and have spiral edges like a screw. They are usually brown and can be found on the floor or in bundles in the trees. Trees don't just magically appear, so how do you think trees grow? First, seeds from a tree must be dispersed. This can happen through wind, water, and even animals. The seed then goes through germination, which is when it soaks up water and splits open. When that happens, the root grows down into the soil and the stem grows up and out of the soil. As the tree absorbs carbon dioxide and sunlight, the branches and roots thicken and get taller. Overall, trees provide for the environment in a multitude of ways. As said earlier, they help filter the air, provide food, and even provide shelter for other animals. How do you think mesquite trees help animals? Well. Mesquite trees provide food and shelter for animals. The pods from the honey and screw bean are often consumed by coyotes, bighorn sheep, ravens, rabbits, and squirrels. These mesquite trees also provide shelter for the bird known as the phainopepla. If you ever see a mesquite tree, you might find one perched up on the top of it. In the section from before, we went over seed dispersal. What is one way mesquite tree seeds are spread? Well, if you are in an area where mesquite trees are found, you might find scat that contains the seeds of mesquite trees. Scat is a scientific word for poop. Here you can see scat, aka poop, 
that contain Scrooby and Mesquite pods. This was most likely from a coyote, which are common here in Nevada. So, coyotes are important to mesquite trees due to a process called scarification. Scarification is basically when the coyote will eat the mesquite seed pods that it finds either on the ground or still in the tree as described earlier. Once the coyotes have eaten the mesquite seed pods, it will travel through the coyote's digestive system, which is how the coyote breaks down food. The acids in the coyote's stomach will cause an outer coating on the seed to break open, allowing it to undergo the germination process we talked about in an earlier section of the video. Once the coyote poops out the seed pods, the seed is now ready to undergo the growth process we described for all trees and will be settle into the soil, absorb water, and then begin to grow. In recent years, mesquite trees have been dying. It is not fully known how these trees are dying out, but there are multiple hypotheses that provide an explanation. For example, herbicides were used to kill the invasive species tamarisk. It was seen after this that mesquite trees started to die off as well. Another reason is the rapid loss of water in Las Vegas, especially because we get our water from the Colorado River. It is also possible that climate change has played a role in their decline. In addition to these potential causes, mesquite trees have a parasitic relationship with the mistletoe plant, which attaches itself to the branches of the tree and absorbs its nutrients. With that, why do you think mesquite trees are dying in the Mojave Desert? All in all, mesquite trees are very important because they have a mutualistic relationship with many organisms. Mutualistic means that it is beneficial or good for both sides of the relationship. So the mesquite tree receives something good and so does the other animal or plant. If they continue to die, it will be detrimental or really bad for many organisms in the Mojave Desert ecosystem. Since this is happening, what are some ways that the decline or the death of mesquite trees in Nevada can be stopped? As you grow older and learn more, you might be the reason why mesquite trees are thriving and living in the future. We need more scientists like you to figure out the dying mesquite tree mystery.